It's freezing, folks. How are we all? I'm outside here. It's fresh morning for us. We got down to about two. Uh, last night it was minus one. And now it's about six degrees and I'm wearing my woolies on at the moment. This is a beautiful jacket. I know it's old, but it's warm. Now I'm standing in front of our uh, climbing rose. If you remember a while ago, it was growing rampant and quite bushy. Let's see, have a look at these little cuts that I've done. If you see these little cuts, shows you that it actually shot out in this direction. So they were quite thick, these stems that were causing the plant to become a bush and rather than climbing properly it was growing radically in all directions. And I cut it back and I said that you've got to try and train your main leaders. Like imagine you're growing a standard rose. This is the actual stem but rather than having the shoot on top only we've got it all the way along. And what I've done is cut it back to two or three buds. Uh, in the past you can see that was cut there then it burst up and put a flower on. And the same here. We had a flower there, you could see the flower. So from the two buds, whatever it was, or three, we were able to get flowers closer to the arch. And that's what I wanted to achieve. Now you can't control how, f how much growth puts, is put on. Sometimes it might stretch out, as you can see this one here has. It's grown further out, way too high, and same, same with these ones. So we're gonna cut these right back down again. And I'm gonna actually work down to a bud just below it from the last cut. And it's just going to be like that on a slight angle, about five mil, about a centimetre maximum. You can go a little bit closer if you like. So now I just wrecked that. My bad, but that's my tool that I didn't sharpen or clean. And on that topic, folks, always have sharp tools. Do as I say, not as I do. But cut them back and clean them up and sharpen them. So we work our way back to the central leader and cut it short. So. Yeah, we can cut back to here for now. We're going to cut it back to the central leader, leaving only a couple of buds. Now that's getting a little bit messy here, folks. We should get rid of that completely, like that, and then work our way and find out where the one, two, there's a bud there, there's a third one there. We can just cut to that there. And that's it. So you can cut it back a little bit more if you like, but two or three buds is quite comfortable for the plane. You can have multiple shoots coming out of the one spot. If you've got die back, see this here, this is die back there. That's all died off. Cut it back to clean growth, like that's gone. So no dead wood on there. The same here. Cut them off and work your way through and clean it all up. And then the aim is to have a nice prune back, couple of buds or stems off there and eventually come springtime they'll burst out. Now's the time to do it. And once you finish doing it, make sure you prepare yourself to feed the plants. So if you're not going to feed them this week or next week, at least by the beginning of August, get something into them. Otherwise, if you don't, what will happen here is the new growth will start from there, generally one or two buds down from the end, and start to grow out again further out. So we lose our arching effect and a nice close tight growth with lots of flowers. So cut it back hard, like I'm going to do here now. Just like that. Work your way through, find your buds. Can be upward facing, downward facing buds, it doesn't really matter. This is a new growth coming from the bottom. I'm just going to cut it off here for now. Leave them there, we'll enjoy them for a little bit later on. We'll get rid of this one here. You'll see there won't be a lot left on this plant when I finish with it, but that's the whole intention. And if you do get canker, you must remove it. Canker is the dieback of the wood, it blackens off. Here's an example. It's not quite canker, it's just dieback. See the wood's dead, completely dry. You can see where it stopped there. Well, it is canker, it stopped to there. And if you don't cut it out, it'll just keep working its way back into the stem and then through the plant's main stem all the way down. So get rid of all that and any double knots and double shoots coming out of the one spot. And that way you can clean it up beautifully and have a nice tight growth. And the secret to getting a nice tight growth is lots of organic matter. Get our compost onto it. I'm going to put a lot of black root on this as well because that's just going to stimulate twice as the amount of blooms that I get normally. So I want to see it just flourishing in colour and I'll achieve that with a lot of black root around the base. So once I finish pruning, and we are in the season for pruning folks, look at it. It's going to try and push some flowers up here but that's just useless, too little, too late, no need for it. Get it ready for the next season, like that, nice and clean, it looks a little bit it might look a little bit weird to you when you finish with it, but come springtime, you're going to love the flowers coming out of it, just like I did last spring and summer. 
All right. I'll keep doing that while you guys get back to work and get out into your gardens and do what I've just done. So this is what it'll look like at the end. That's what it looks like beforehand. And if it doesn't look like that, it looks a lot more scraggly. That means you haven't pruned it back hard enough. Feed them up, get your black grit, and protect your plants with lots of organic matter, no chemicals anymore. Check out our website, vasiliesgarden.com, and don't forget to book in your seat. There's only a handful of seats left for our grafting workshop. It's on the 24th, 10.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. Two sessions, one day. Book online from me, Vasily Maresi.